Hi class! I'm going to be reading to you The Easter Bunny is Missing. This story is written by Steve Metzger and it's illustrated by Barbara Spurl. I hope you enjoy this fun story. The Easter Bunny is Missing. It was the day before Easter and spring was in the air. The forest animals had gathered at Blueberry Meadow to plan for their annual Easter party, which always took place after the children found their Easter eggs. We're at Blueberry Meadow. I can't wait for our party, exclaimed Bear. I'll bring the refreshments, said Fox. The crickets are scheduled to play, said Frog. Their music is hoppin'. But where's the Easter Bunny? asked Fox, looking around. He's not here. How can we celebrate Easter without the Easter Bunny? asked Mole nervously. Who will deliver the Easter eggs? Calm down, everyone, said Turtle. Maybe he just got lost. Let's go try to find him. Bear and Fox looked behind every tree in the forest. Mole checked all of the rabbit holes and burrows. Turtle and Frog searched around the lake. Any luck? asked Turtle. The other animals shook their heads. The Easter Bunny is missing, Bear said sadly. He's feeling very upset. They can't find the Easter Bunny anywhere. We've got to do something, added Mole. The children will be sad if they don't get their Easter eggs tomorrow. One of us will just have to fill in for the Easter Bunny this year, said Fox. It should be me, and I'll show you why. Carrying a basket of colorful eggs, Fox led his friends out of the forest. Watch me, Fox called out as she put on a pair of bunny ears. I'd be the fastest Easter bunny ever. She took the Easter basket and quickly raced around to the children's homes, hiding eggs under the bushes. See the Easter ears? Easter bunny ears? Wait a minute, said Mole. You're too fast. You dropped some of the eggs along the way. Children will find them much too easily. Sorry, Fox, but you can't be the Easter Bunny. Let me do it, yelled Frog. I'm the best one for the job. And why is that? asked Bear. Frog smiled. You've heard the Easter Bunny song, right? Hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way, Frog sang. Well, who does hippity hoppity better than me? We know that a frog can hop. Frog grabbed the Easter basket and went bouncing down the path. Hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way. Frog sang out. He didn't notice that some of the eggs fell out and broke. No way, said Bear. With all that bouncing up and down, you'll crack all the eggs. I should be the Easter bunny, said Mole quietly. Mole found the best hiding spots for the Easter eggs like he just couldn't find his way out. Sorry, Mole, said Turtle. He couldn't always find his way out, so he couldn't be the Easter Bunny. I'd be the best Easter Bunny because I'm the strongest, said Bear. He loaded up his basket with dozens of eggs. But as he lumbered down the path, he banged his basket against the trees, crushing many eggs. I guess I'm too strong, said Bear. For forlornly. That leaves me, said Turtle. He strapped the basket of eggs to his shell and toddled down the path. But when he finally reached a hiding place, 30 minutes had gone by. Fox shook her head. By the time you finish hiding all the eggs, it'll be Christmas. <laughs> I don't care, said Turtle. I still want to be the Easter Bunny. No, said Bear, I want to do it. The animals argued back and forth, filling the forest with their shouting voices. The racket got louder and louder and louder. What's going on here? A familiar voice rang out. I could hear you all the way down Daffodil Road. Easter Bunny, Frog shouted. You're here. Where have you been? asked Bear. 
Can you make a prediction on where he's been? Look at his outfit and the objects that he's holding. What do you think? On vacation, the Easter Bunny replied. Hawaii was so much fun that I decided to stay a little longer. I hope you weren't worried about me. Now, what is all this fighting about? Oh, nothing, replied Mole sheepishly. Nothing at all. It's great to see you, the Easter Bunny said as he began putting Easter eggs into his basket. But now it's time for me to get to work. I have lots to do for tomorrow. Hippity hoppity. And a big hippity hoppity to you too, said Frog. Happy Easter. The Easter Bunny skipped off to hide the eggs, and he didn't drop a single one. So we learned that the Easter Bunny does his job the best. Our, all of our other characters struggled to get the job done until Easter Bunny returned from his vacation. I want you to tell an adult, what type of story do you think this is? Do you think it's fiction, nonfiction, fantasy? You need to ask yourself. Are these real characters? Could this really happen? Can bears talk? Try to tell an adult what you think about this story. Thank you for listening. I can't wait to see you soon.